if you're struggling with dark knees dark elbows dark knuckles dark neck try these two products i'll be mentioning in this video and trust me you're going to see tremendous progress in a matter of weeks if you can follow this routine consistently trust me you will see great improvement on your knuckles on your knees on your elbows in a couple of weeks yes and you come back here to thank me okay hello guys welcome back to my channel and i hope that you guys are doing great so today we are going to talk about uneven skin tone around the knuckles the knees the elbows which is a common problem for many people today especially people of color yes of course as people of color it is completely normal for our knuckles our knees and elbows to be at least a shade darker than our normal skin tone this is completely normal and nothing to be ashamed of but when the skin on the knuckles or the skin on the elbows or knees begin to look uh, like three to four shades darker than our normal complexion, then for some persons, it might be a cause for worry and that can begin to breed some sort of insecurity. In as much as I encourage people to embrace their flaws and insecurities, if there is something that can be done about it, then you don't have to live with these insecurities as long as you are not taking extreme measures to deal with the situation so if you're dealing with any of these issues i mentioned i'm happy to tell you that there is a solution and yes what you need basically are just two products two products and you'll be saying bye bye to dark knuckles dark knees and dark elbows in just a couple of weeks in a matter of weeks yes yes i said so in a couple of weeks you would have seen tremendous progress these areas I just mentioned are prone to dryness and often experience more friction than other parts of the body, which leads to dark patches and you know, rough skin. While some people might resort to skin bleaching or using bleaching products to even out their skin tone, there are safer and other natural alternatives to achieve this goal without damaging your skin. There's an impression that when you see a lady or a man that has dark knuckles, then it is believed that it was caused by bleaching products. This may be true, but it is not always the case. Dark knuckles can also occur as a result of excessive skin dryness, which can be linked to the use of harsh detergent or harsh washing liquid. Dark knuckles can also be hereditary. But the two situations I'll be dealing with today is dark knuckles caused by skin bleaching products and dark knuckles caused by excessive skin dryness. Okay? Before you treat those dark knuckles, you need to know what caused it. You need to know if your dark knuckles was caused as a result of skin bleaching or just skin dryness. If your knuckles have become dark as a result of skin bleaching, the first thing you will need is patience. If you do not have patience, you might as well just continue to live with the problem. The reason I'm emphasizing on patience is because the skin barrier has been damaged. And what you need is corrective skin care, not skin lightening products. You need corrective skin care. You need products that will help to repair and restore your skin barrier. And this process will not happen in a week. It will not happen in a month it is going to take time think about it this way okay you were diligently and consistently using a skin bleaching product for about two three years and now you have developed some skin issues and you want to repair your skin and you want that repair process to happen in two weeks that is not possible it is not possible it does not happen anywhere in the world i am sure you have heard this um, popular saying that it is easier to destroy than to build. It can take you one year to build a mansion, but you can destroy that same mansion in 30 minutes. All you need is a bulldozer and everything comes crashing to the ground. This same principle applies to every area of our life, including skincare. So if your dark knuckles is as a result of skin bleaching, how do you fix this? You have to totally, totally discontinue all the bleaching products. It doesn't matter how much you bought them doesn't matter how many thousands you spent on them it is your skin's health first before anything else then after you must have discontinued your skin bleaching product you get a gentle body wash don't get anything that has AHAs or BHAs uh, like salicylic acid or glycolic acid in it 
Instead, go for hydrating body washes that contains ingredients that hydrate and repairs the skin. Ingredients like glycerin, oats, niacinamide. Because at this point, you have to treat your skin like that of a baby and begin to pay attention to ingredients. You can try body washes like Dove Deep Moisture Skin Nourishing Body Wash or the Ole Ultra Moisture Body Wash with Shea Butter. You can also try the Avino Daily Moisturizing Body Wash with um, Soothing Oat. oat. If you are experiencing dark knuckles as a result of excessive skin dryness or any other reason that is not related to skin bleaching, the first step in trying to even out your knuckles is exfoliating. That is, it is very important when treating uneven skin tone. Using a product that has promised you heaven and earth without exfoliating is like using a basket to fetch water. You just keep wasting your money, your hard-earned money and your precious time as well. So you see that exfoliation, it is key. So when it comes to exfoliating, what type of exfoliant do you use? Is it a physical exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant? In my opinion, when it comes to the skin on the knuckles, which can be tough and dry, I'll always recommend a physical exfoliant, like scrubs, sugar scrubs to be specific, because they are more gentle, they are more hydrating, and they are more you know, moisturizing as compared to salt scrubs, which can be harsh, which can be drying okay so if you're trying to get rid of dark knuckles and you're trying to choose an exfoliant i would advise you choose a physical exfoliant for best result physical exfoliants like scrubs are designed to manually remove dead skin cells and exfoliate the skin and physical exfoliation removes the top layer the topmost layer of dead skin cells to reveal the fresh you know skin underneath and if it is done correctly if don't be too aggressive with it and so that it doesn't irritate your skin at all however if your issue is not dark knuckles but you know dark knees and elbows and your skin barrier has not been compromised i would recommend you use a chemical exfoliant on your knees and your elbows yes chemical exfoliation is most useful for improving skin tone and reducing dullness if your skin barrier has been compromised, I would suggest that you stay away from chemical exfoliants until you have been able to build up your skin barrier over time. And because over exfoliating can further damage the skin barrier, so hold up exfoliation until your skin barrier has been repaired and be religious with the application of your sunscreen as UV radiation can further damage your skin barrier, okay? So the chemical exfoliants I'll be recommending in this video is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution so what is glycolic acid okay i know you might have heard or seen this word glycolic acid this is not your first time but do you know what this ingredient is and what it really does so glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant that helps to remove the outermost layer of skin cells by dissolving them the advantage of glycolic acid is that it is very lightweight and it can penetrate the skin deeply to exfoliate so when you use um, glycolic acid on areas like, you know, like the knees, the elbows, it helps to lighten the skin and balance the pH levels and also promote new cell growth with a fast turnover of dead skin cells. So <clears throat> when you apply glycolic acid on the knees and elbows, it breaks down the top layer of the skin by dissolving the cell connections and it causes the top layer to shed. Then a new layer comes in place of that outer layer and this layer is soft is supple is free from pigmentation and it is more even toned when you start using glycolic acid to even out the skin you will begin to see a difference in a couple of weeks yes glycolic acid is a chemical exfoliant and should not be abused as it can damage the skin and cause more hyperpigmentation that is why you should use this product only on the problem areas and not more than three times a week only at night i do not advise you use it during the day because uh, chemical exfoliants tend to make your skin more sensitive to the sunlight and this can trigger sunburn okay so glycolic acid is wonderful but it will not give you overnight results but continuous and safe use of it is going to definitely bring a ch tremendous change in your skin so how do you use it what you need to do is just soak a cotton pad with the glycolic acid and rub the wet pad against your dark knees your <clears throat> dark elbows and after you must have done that follow suit with a good moisturizer that will help to hydrate and soften your skin please do not do this if your skin barrier has been compromised i know i have mentioned skin barrier 
the thousand and one times since I started this video. But for the sake of those who do not know what a skin barrier is, the skin barrier is probably one of the most important organs of the body that is responsible for your body's integrity. That is responsible for protecting your skin from microbes, from chemicals, and um, protecting your skin from allergens, from penetrating the skin. So once your skin barrier is damaged, that protective layer is gone. And you're exposed to whatever danger that is coming to your skin. It is like a soldier or a policeman going to, a, going to face some criminals in a gun battle. They will definitely wear a bulletproof vest for protection. Any policeman that is not wearing his bulletproof vest is exposing himself to danger. And the possibility of him getting shot is very, very high compared to his colleague who is wearing a bulletproof vest. Am I communicating? So basically, your skin barrier, like the bulletproof vest in this scenario I just um, painted, protects your skin. And once that skin barrier is damaged, that protection is gone. It is gone. So be careful with what you use on your skin, okay? So where were we? Yes getting a moisturizer that will help to soften and um, hydrate your skin. You can try the following option. You can try the Eucerin Advanced Repair Cream. You can also try the Lubridem Advanced um, Therapy Moisturizing Cream. Uh, you can try the Eucerin Original Healing Cream. The Avino Skin Relief Intense uh, Moisture Skin Re Repair Cream. You can try the Cetaphil and um, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. You have to use these moisturizers on your hands, your knees, your elbows twice a day to help to restore and blend out your skin tone. The reason I'm not recommending exfoliating body lotions is because we already have glycolic acid 7% solution in this routine. So you don't want to use too many chemical exfoliants in a routine and couple with the fact that you, your skin barrier might have been compromised and you will not even know for those of you um, who are trying to make a withdrawal from bleaching products. So if you know that your dark knuckles, your dark knees, your dark el elbows are as a result of um, skin bleaching, just use the body wash, any of the body washes and um, the, any of the moisturizers I recommended in this video. And it will surprise you <laughs> that your knuckles will blend without you making too much effort. That is the truth. You can only graduate to chemical exfoliants when your skin barrier has been fully restored and you can begin to you know, use chemical exfoliants. If you can follow this routine consistently, trust me, trust me, you will see great improvement on your knuckles, on your knees, on your elbows in a couple of weeks. Yes. And you come back here to thank me. Okay. Remember that everybody's skin is different. And so results may vary from person to person. In whatever you do, please do not forget to apply your sunscreen. Okay. So here is where I draw the curtain today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video, please give this video a thumbs up and do not leave without subscribing to my channel if you are yet subscribed to my channel, okay? Thank you all. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.